It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to identify a transformation in the coordinate plane. Here's our question today. This question has three parts. We're given parallelogram EFGH was transformed to create its image. Parallelogram E prime, F prime, G prime, H prime, as shown on this coordinate plane. Here's part A of our three part question. We're asked to describe the transformation that was performed on parallelogram EFGH to create parallelogram E prime, F prime, G prime, H prime. We need to show or explain how we get our answer. So here's where I'd like you to pause the video, do your best work, and then come back and hit play to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. So in part A, we're going to describe this transformation that happened to parallelogram EFGH. So I can see that they are the same size and shape, and I can look and say that we have a translation, a reflection, or a rotation. Seeing as reflection and rotation are changing the um, orientation of the parallelogram, I'm going to start by looking to see if it's a translation. I'm going to look at vertex E and I'm going to see that if I go one, two, three, four units to the right and then one, two units down, I can see that I end up at vertex E prime. Same thing with F. If I go four units to the right and two units down, I have my translation. Again, a reflection would flip it and change the orientation and a rotation would turn it and change the orientation. So we need to show or explain. I've pretty much shown, but let's explain our work. Parallelogram EFGH was translated four units right and two units down to create parallelogram E prime, F prime, G prime, H prime. And that's our explanation. Let's move on to part B. Here we're asked is parallelogram EFGH congruent to parallelogram E prime, F prime, G prime, H prime, and explain your reasoning. Please pause the video again, do your best explanation, and then come back to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. So we want to know if the image is congruent to the original figure. So congruent figures have the same size and shape. So let's go look. Side EF is two units, E prime F prime, two units. Our HG here is two units, H prime G prime is two units, and our height here is two units and two units. So I can see that they are the same size and shape. So let's explain our reasoning here. So we're going to say that parallelogram EFGH is congruent to parallelogram E prime, F prime, G prime, H prime, since they both are the same size and shape. All right, moving on to part C. Part C, parallelogram E prime, F prime, G prime, H prime, will be reflected over the X axis to create its image, parallelogram E prime, double prime, F double prime, G double prime, H double prime. And we are asked, will parallelogram E double prime, F double prime, G double prime, H double prime be congruent to the original parallelogram EFGH and explain your reasoning. So here's where I would like you to pause the video, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. All right. We are going to take the image, E prime, F prime, G prime, H prime, and we are going to reflect over the X axis to create the image E double prime, F double prime, G double prime, H double prime. So here is our X axis. It's the horizontal axis of your coordinate plane. When we reflect, we're flipping it over the X axis or our line of reflection. Every vertice must be the same distance that it is above as it is below. So let's start out with E prime. So we can see that it's four units above, E goes down to four units below. F is above by four, goes down by four. And then we do G two to two, 
and then H, two above, two below. And there we have it reflected in the x axis. So this is our figure E double prime, F double prime, G double prime, H double prime. We're also now going to talk about congruency. So we went from the original figure, we translated, and then we reflected. And yes, they are all congruent because, here's our explanation, yes, the parallelogram will be congruent. A translation and a reflection are transformations that must result an image that is congruent to the original figure. So although we have a coordinate plane here and I showed you these, you wouldn't need to show your work because a parallelogram that is transformed by a reflection and a translation must result congruent images or they're not a true transformation of being a translation or reflection. So very wordy, but reflections, rotations, and translations must all result congruent images. And there you have it. That is how you identify a transformation on the coordinate plane. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day and that you come back soon.